Hey guys, Tech Number with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix the news app if it's not working correctly on your iPhone or Apple devices, whether it's not loading, it's crashing, or you're having issues with the news app in general. We're going to go through the troubleshooting steps that you need to know in order to fix that issue. So let's get started. So whenever you're having issues with the news app, the very first thing you want to check is Apple system status. So if you Google that, the very first link it will take you to is Apple support website, which tells you the status of outage is going on if the service isn't working. As you can see here, if I look at this, there's currently four issues going on like Apple Music, podcast, and radio around certain times that may cause the service to be slow or unavailable. But if you click on this one where it shows all services and we look for the news one, so news, if you go down here, this should be an alphabetic order which says news here. You want to make sure that it's available for you because if it's not that means Apple server aren't working correctly and you will not be able to get the news at that certain time and the only fix for that is you know waiting for Apple to resolve it generally they'll fix it within a minute to maybe even hour but certainly they'll fix it right away as you can see here there were some issues going on with these as I mentioned if it says outages it will list it here and you just have to wait and it'll t tell you the time period that it takes for them to either resolve the outage itself now after you check that the next troubleshooting step you want to do when it comes to new news app is that you want to check your internet connectivity on your phone in order to do that you're going to pull down the control menu here turn on airplane mode for a moment and turn it back off and what we've done is a quick network refresh with the Wi-Fi and cellular data if you have any connectivity issue it will be resolved with a quick refresh just like that now after you have done that now another simple thing you can do is simply swipe up and close out the app the news app and then go ahead and reopen the news app and simple as that sometimes it might be stuck or software is just crashing and all you need to do is just simply uh, closing it and reopening now after you have done that it's time to give your phone a force restart in order to do a force restart you're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then hold the side button and i'm going to keep on holding the side button until the screen goes completely black remember you have to do volume up and down one after another really quick and then hold the side button till the screen goes completely black and then you see the apple logo reappear and once the apple logo reappear i let go of that button and what i have done again simply shut down the phone completely and having the phone reload the software so if it's a software related issue impacting your phone it will resolve that issue and this is the number one troubleshooting step that apple recommends when it comes to anything software related issue then once you're back in you're going to go ahead and put in your passcode get back onto your phone now not with this method none of your photos videos apps will be deleted any of your all of the information will be there on your phone now the next thing to do if you're still having an issue on your iphone is go into your settings here go to general and under date and time you want to verify that the date and time is correct on your phone and i mean by your local time so as you can see here you want to check that local time is the same exact time and this is important especially if you're traveling between different time zone you want to ensure that is correct in order for you to get the correct news on your app and if it's not you can turn this off from automatically which should be the default option you can change it manually itself but then turn it back on to make sure that time is correct but you want to ensure that date and time is correct on your iPhone now after you have done that and you're still having issues with the news app the next thing to check in your settings is under the settings here under the main settings you want to find the news app itself so you'll see here a bunch of options here you're gonna look for news here so you will look for the news app like any other default app right here and then once you do that you want to ensure for cellular data it's turned on sometimes it gets turned off and you're not going to get uh, cell if you are out of your Wi-Fi zone or your Wi-Fi is having issues you want to ensure that is on as well again a quick setting to check out which will help you if you're having issues now after you have done that the next thing to do in your settings here is go to general here and then go all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone click on that and then the very first option for reset you want to do a, a network reset which is a second option what network reset is resets your network things like saved Wi-Fi or Bluetooth devices that you have connected and that will help any time you're having connectivity issue as the news app relies on you to have a stable connection and if network isn't uh, working correctly for you the news app won't work as well now after you have done that and you're still having an issue the next thing to check out is going to see if there is an update out for the news app itself in order to check that is you go to app store and then you're going to search here and search for news so if you search for news right here you want to ensure that for apple news here 
if it says open, that means your app is already up to date. But in a case where it says it needs to update like this, I'll show you in a second here, where this app, for example, where it says update, if there's an update button, you want to click on update. But like I said, if it says open, you don't have to do anything. That's the way to update any app on your iPhone. Now, after you have done that and you're still having issues with it, it's time to go ahead and delete and reinstall the app as well. So in order to delete the news app, you simply press and hold and then you'll do remove app and then delete app and then it'll ask you to delete it. We'll just delete it just like that and then we'll reinstall it again, which is really simple to do. All you'll have to do is open up App Store, go to search again, news, search for news and then make sure that it's the Apple News one. Click on that cloud with the down arrow just like that and generally takes about maybe a couple seconds to reinstall it and then you'll go to the very last page here which says recently added and then you press and hold the Apple News one, add to home screen and then press and hold and then you can pretty much drag it and move it to whatever location you want. I'll put it back in the same location and hopefully by now when you open it up this time around, news app is working for you. Now let's say it's still not working and the very last thing you can do is go into your settings of your iPhone. This time we're going to go from the settings to general software update and see if there's a software update out. If it is out there, it's going to say download and install and you want to install the latest software version because maybe a previous version broke the Apple news from working correctly and Apple recommends that you're iPhone is always up to date and in order to do an update again make sure your phone is connected to a good strong Wi-Fi or cellular data and you have 50% or more charge and give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes in order to successfully download and install the update. And that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful and your news app is working now and if so please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.